Bow, 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 bow. Hello guys, welcome to Clock Tower for the PlayStation 1. Get introductions out of the way and get started with it, shall we? Uh, this game's been done about a thousand billion gazillion, hundred billion Samuel Barton times. And I decided to do my own playthrough of it. Which I did a couple of years ago. Um, what was it like two years ago, maybe? I can't remember. And I gave up on it. So, yeah. Now, this intro, I'm going to have to pause because maybe I won't need to. Maybe it'll come up properly, who knows. We'll see. Don't think it's going to run properly. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize, you mustn't her, hypnotize her like this. Like this. Oh, oh. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are so yeah, basic setup for the game is uh, it's a point and click adventure game. I must know the truth of what developed happened. by Human Entertainment. She I can't think? take any more of this who, today, Professor. I'm not quite sure who, what they I'm went on to do after home. this. Probably some. I think they went. Um, they either got All bought right. out by a publisher or they just. But remember one thing. They Helen. just died out. So. You may be her guardian. But you are also, also my, my assistant. assistant. Yes, Emphasis Professor. Emphasis on ass. Okay. And Jennifer and Helen walk off into the great void. Right. First of all, get him one. A file cabinet. Patience records are kept here. Oh no, what's this? Oh. Uh, now I'm stuck between the pages. You found him one. Okay. There's only a few items you need to examine in here, but I'll show you some of the optional stuff. So, I won't be doing it for everything, even though I do like to examine other items. I think there's another hint over here. Oh no, it's um, in the next section of the game. This is without a doubt the most boring section in the entire game. Doing this polo. It goes on for far too long and it's just not enjoyable, so... But we must get it out of the way, otherwise we cannot continue on our adventure. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case, how intriguing. I've never finished Clock Tower on the uh, Super Nintendo, probably because it was just too fucking hard for me to beat. Uh, I keep getting asked to do it, I probably will do it at some point. It was probably more logical to do that, considering this is the direct sequel to the game. But, yeah, I don't know. Who knows, maybe I'll get around to doing it at some point. Come on, click on it. Ah, oh, click on it! Oh, there you go, click on it. Cool, oh, one of the items you found at the scene of the clock town bed. Seems to be holding some, sort, some kind of bucket. Uh, get an expert opinion on this. Yeah. That is a very important statue. There's a teddy bear up there, I think. Ooh, yeah. Oh, she got crazy angry. You don't want to mess with her one. No, you got to speak to her twice, I think. Yeah. This is one of those games I can play consistently without getting bored of it, which is kind of strange considering you're doing the exact same thing over and over and over and over again. And once you've seen everything this game has to offer, there's no reason to go back to it. But for me, uh, I don't know, I just like going back to it. It's something nostalgic about this game. So, and when I first played this game, I was 11 years old. And it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. It doesn't scare me now because, well, it's not really scary, it's more tense, kind of like a Dead Space. It's A lot of people think Dead Space is scary, but there's very few scares in that game, well, very few jump moments in that game that are actually scary, that will actually catch you off guard. For most of the game, it's just incredibly tense. And same with this really, during the actual scenarios when you're being chased by a scissor man, spoiler. Uh, 
It's more tense than scary, I suppose. That's what I miss about survival horror games. Survival horror now is mostly uh, dominated by the Fear series, and there's a few indie games that have tried to harken back to survival horror, which is kind of dead now, really. Um, something like the S. I know it's constantly brought up, and you can find dozens, hundreds, probably, videos of it. The um, the SCP series which is a first person horror game, horror series I should say, there's three of them so far, two of them, um, no sorry, one of them has quite a few interesting mods for it, I do recommend checking them out, uh, SCP-187 and this uh, second sequel I guess, um, SCP-187B. <laughs> Just like the soup. And this is Tim, my cameraman. Get to the chopper, do it now. I'm pretty sure Arnie from um from Predator could take on Scissorman. I wouldn't really know what the you know the logistics behind it would be, but it'd still be really interesting to see Arnie in any of his film roles taking on Scissorman. Preferably Commando, though. Actually, now I think about it, Commando would be really Commando Arnie would be really interesting to see, especially the because of the knife fight with um, Freddie Mercury at the end of the film. I'm not gonna shoot you between the eyes, John. I'm gonna shoot you between the balls! The film was so stupid. <laughs> but it's a good stupid though. Not a bad stupid. Okay, that's it. That is right. That is what our readers want to know. <laughs> the existence of this scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Okay, there we go. I like how, um, what's his name again? Tim is firing off hot flashes of nothingness from his fists. It couldn't have been that difficult for them just to plop a little bit of a block square there. Now I'm pretty certain this is a glitch with the um, emulator but there used to be a flash, I'm sure they did. Every time Tim took a picture off his camera in the um, in the version on the PlayStation, but in this, it didn't seem to have it. It might be the settings I'm using, actually, now I think about it. The video settings for the emulator. Who knows? That's it! Interview's over! Flip's table. Ah, okay. I understand. No, you don't. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you'd hoped. Lies. You don't give a shit. You can go back down to this floor. It's com completely and utterly pointless. I don't even know why they included it for. <sighs> There's loads and loads and loads of hints in this game to the killer's identity. When I first played it, I couldn't even ball, I couldn't even wrap my head around uh, the real killer. There's, there's two killers in this game. Um, yeah, two killers in the game, and one of them is just a poser. It's like a, it's just posing as Scissorman, while the actual Scissorman is also out there. I'm not too sure, to be honest. I'm not sure if the the, the um, if the I've lost, my, I've lost my train of thought. If the the uh, beep, 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 beep. I forgot what I was going to say. The uh, the Scissorman double was actually doing the killings. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know. 
obviously Scissorman was killing people, but until the end of the game, you're not really too sure who was doing, if it was actually the double that was killing people, or if it was Scissorman himself. Uh, oh yeah, I need to speak to you again, do I? <sighs> I still need to get an expert's opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan. Metro I can't even speak today. Metro Metropolitan. Metropolitan. Yeah. Now, I'm going to save state here. Because men's save states. Oh, that is interesting, it is not saved. Or has it? Oh, there it is. Let me just double check that works. Yeah! Okay, that works. Pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. Do I want to do... Do I want to do this or don't I? What I'm going to do is... I'm make a separate save. Here. Make sure that worked. Yeah. Because I want to do two scenarios for this where you um, where I will show you Rick's scenario, which is actually um Francis scenario. Chief, assistant, assistant, super, lieutenant, commander, naval officer, Gots of the Norwegian police force, and Helen who goes to the library, and, yeah. We're gonna go to the library, because it's more fun. Most people avoid the library, because it's a ball lake to do, and it, you get caught by Sism on a fuck ton of times. But it has some of the more um, interesting things that you can examine. Which doesn't sound like much incentive to do it, but I can assure you the library is much more fun compared to the to do in Rick's house. Rick's house is easy mode and I'd say the library is hard mode. On your first time the library you would have no fucking clue what to do. It's so difficult. Mostly because there's a key item that you can just completely gloss over and not even find. And I had to use a walkthrough when I was a kid. Which I remember going into the computers at school in the library and looking up the FAQ for Clock Tower just so I could get past that one section. It's torturous. Okay, Edward. Now I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Dot. Yeah, they obviously needed that. That. Oh, for God's sake. Let's get started. We're not going to save because we're men. Of course I'm using save states, so there's no point. Oh, hello there, Helen. You said your hard drive crashed. That's too bad. Now, something else that's quite interesting about Clock Tower 2 is that the, um, the Japanese version of this game has English voice acting, which I always thought was a bit strange. But the voice acting is completely different compared to this. The, the dialogue's different. Um, it, I don't know, it just seems to make more sense to the Japanese version compared to this version. Uh, Cutscenes don't come across as being jarring and really dumb. I just the, the dialogue just seems... The dialogue's cheesy as hell in this, but when you play the, um, the Japanese version with the English voiced cutscenes, there just seems to be a lot more effort put into it, and it doesn't come across as being wooden and kind of jarring. I don't know. Maybe I'll upload a sample of it so you can see what I mean. It's really, really unusual because they're the exact same voice actors, but for some reason the Japanese version has a lot more, a lot more heart put into it. Well, not a lot. I'm not talking. Uncharted levels of voice acting, but it's it's much more tolerable compared to this. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh really? 
Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. Is that it? Fair enough. Uh, police station. I do like these little transitions, the uh, the backgrounds, they're quite nice. Assistant Inspector Guts, the person in charge of the clock tower case, is here. We obviously needed that. One extra. Well, he's got any, uh, any leads. No, I haven't. I've got nothing. Oh, geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the case. Dot. Whew. That's a bit sick. Well, not sick, but I always came, I always remember hearing that whine and thinking it seemed a little bit strange considering Jennifer is 15 years old. It's very blunt as well, but then again, it's nothing compared to the. Uh, to the uh, weird, creepy relationship between her and 31-year-old Nolan Campbell. I was going to say Nolan North then. Uh, between Nolan North, Nolan North, I just said it. Between Nolan Campbell and uh, Jennifer Simpson, who is the second protagonist you can play. But we, we will probably not do Jennifer. It, this gets received well enough, I'll do Jennifer. Well, but that came out wrong. If this gets received well enough, I'll do a playthrough of Jennifer's. But considering this game is pretty old, I think Jennifer is like, what? In her 30s now? She'll be in her 40s now actually, won't she? She's 15 in this, so... Alright, we need to turn off the light to begin with. Okay. I'm not going to be examining everything, but there's a few things I want to examine. Wow, lit up by the street lights. I actually own a physical copy of this game, but recently it's not been working very well, so bad times. Have you seen the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Baker's still in the lab. Okay. Uh, some cosmetics on the shelf brought in by the staff. I don't think you can get the hint as... Helen, maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure you can get a hint, but maybe you can only get it as Jennifer. So yeah, basically Rose is doing the horizontal dance with Baker, who is another uh, researcher at the university. I don't know if I fully explained why Rose left the left the room for. I'm guessing she went looking for Baker, but again, it's never explained how Baker died either. Or the security officers, for that matter, who were supposed to be, you know, on security duty around the uh, university. And we find out it was just a trap to get Superman into a room. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Okay, let's get started. So yeah, basically, uh, uh, just during the cinema moments, which 
are uh, the occasions that you can chase after you and try and trap you up. All you've got to do is basically escape, and the best way to do that is to constantly, constantly, constantly use the same exact how you play, which he never catches on to, which is to use this room here. Because there is no fail escape in this room, you keep using it constantly. So yeah, you can use this room as many times as you please. This is the best room to use, the uh, toilet on the first floor. Because you can never, ever, ever get caught. Now, I think he might be in here. I'm not too sure. Hopefully not. Oh, he's not. It's a stroke of luck. So we need to get the screwdriver, not a screwdriver, sorry, the, um, the pliers, is it pliers, yeah. Right, I need to remember what floor the, um, I need to remember what floor the, what's it called is on, um, the, key for the uh, garage door. I always forget. Because I have a shittest memory ever. Oh, we're not on the first floor. First floor, even. Let me just check. What floor are we on? Oh, that was the third floor then. Okay. Beg your pardon. If you want to make sure that you have a constantly good hiding place, just go into one of the toilets that has this on it. The blue symbol, the male, the male, um, the male toilets, because he will never, ever, ever kill you if you use it. You can die in quite a few of the other places in here, but not a great deal. Storage key. You know, I have the storage key. Now, what could that dripping be? Don't worry, it's not cinnamon. Unless he's taking a leak behind the t behind the cubicle. You don't have to examine it, but you can kind of see a little glimpse of it there at the top. Oh no! It's a pair of feet, a pair of legs. Ugh. That's disgusting. Let's have a look at this. Use that no. no, you can't. I'm thinking of something else. We have a room that we can use it, but for the sake of time, we're not going to. Uh, it's, oh, any door that has that little box next to it, you can't use. So, oh wait, no, there is some weed. Grab the broom and the bottom of my side. I totally forgot about that. Honestly, I honestly didn't think he could get you in there. It's genuinely a surprise because I didn't think he could actually kill you in that room. Uh, sorry for that misleading information, guys. I honestly forgot about that. Alright, we can't leave yet because we need to get the, um, the flashlight. Which I believe isn't on this floor. Okay. Oh wait. Oh yeah, never mind. Ignore me. Just being an idiot again. Let's try the second floor because I can't remember exactly what floor the key is on. 
not the key, sorry, the flashlight, which is a minor item for the time being, you never use it, but you wouldn't have any idea that it was going to have a huge impact on the ending, without spoiling of it, without spoilers obviously. Chocolate rain. I'm full of a cold at the moment, so if I sound really nasally, um, let me no, don't let me know because I already know. I'm just saying. Oh, for love! <laughs> Ain't no stopping me, motherfucker. I just want to try something quickly, actually. Cause I can't remember if you can die here. Bubble beer. Oh, there's a hint on that table there. I forgot to mention it. Silly me. Right. Call me. Do 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 do. Call me. Yeah, hello, police you department. Don't have to hesitate, There's been a murder. Come quickly, please. Please relax, yeah, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? Do, 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 do. He's the one with call the giant me. scissors. Scissor man. Why You've heard of him, haven't you? Oh. If this is the prank phone call. Wait. Wait. Get to the chopper. Oh, fuck off then. <laughs> I'm gonna ring you back up and complain. Because we just have plenty of time to do this. Hello. Police department. Someone's been murdered. You've got to help, or he'll kill me too. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> Please, don't hang up. Scissor Man murdered my friend. Scissor Man. All right, already. We'll huh? send someone. In the meantime, lock all the doors. He's already somewhere in the building. Well, he's already locked all What's the doors. Your location? So. Southern Oslo University. I'm not really sure if that message went through or not. I don't think it did. Your typical horror cliche right there. As soon as you're about to reveal a key piece of information, the phone cuts off. That's one of the smallest clues about who the killer might be, is the stuffed animals. There is another one, but I uh, don't think we can examine this, can we? No, oh, okay. Well, we can, but... That's no good, is it? It's interesting that she says the power is out, because you can receive a fax from Scissorman by using that machine. Which is quite unusual. Oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. Small shoe prints on it. They look like they were made by a child. It's another hint. <sighs> you could probably guess who the killer is, but <sighs> excuse me. You can probably guess who the killer is, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Doesn't take a genius. Let's just put it that way. Though when I first played this, I didn't have a fucking clue who the killer was. <laughs> and it seemed so obvious at the time, especially in the second scenario. I think by the second scenario, you'll know who Scissorman is. If you don't, then you're probably going to be in the same boat as me, where I couldn't really figure out who it was. Alright, he's not in here, thankfully. Alright, let's get this door open so we can escape. Oh, we need to use the uh, pliers first, don't we? Use the pliers on Martinez. 
Uh, could I do something to the wire? You could. And I highly recommend you do. Strange thing is, the pliers still remain in your inventory for the rest of the game, despite the fact you'll never use them. I'm about to get to my car and fast. Vroom, vroom. All right, and that's the first part of the video done. This will only be about three videos, so yeah. Alright, Scenario 1 death. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in Scenario 2.